going on my happy people so yeah good afternoon you guys well actually i think it's good morning actually um but yeah actually guys i just really wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about what structure is and uh you know what why being transparent in your programs is uh, really important and uh you know just being positive and just just encourage people to to uh to love their stuff literally um that's that's what i wanted to teach you guys uh today just because um I think it's really important. So, first of all, uh, let's let's talk about structure. First of all, what I believe what structure is, um, and you know, you guys, you guys can take this as a grain of salt. I believe in structure very different from uh, what other people think of structure. Um, with me, I believe what structure is is um, you know very muscular type of dog, very chiseled, very cut up, and that's the structure that I love. And uh, some people might not like that, and that's completely okay. You know, that is completely okay because. We are meant to like different things, and that's totally fine. Because if we all like different things, trust me, man, the world would be boring. And that's what I really wanted to talk about today. Because everybody likes structure different. Everybody thinks of structure differently. You know, me, I believe structure is you know big bone, chiseled up, cut up, and that's it. You know, that that's just pretty much what I believe what structure is. I I, I don't. I like fat dogs, right? You know, let's 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 say, let's say for bullies. I, I pick on my uh, my homie Cha in Midwest all the time, you know, because he likes that Bitcoin bait blood uh, and with his bullies. And uh, I always tell him, man, those are just fat dogs, you know, but they do have big bones and, you know, crazy structure as well. Um, but I, I love them dogs only 90%. I don't like it 100%, like how I like the structure like um, like Devil Cell or like Dizzy Devil. Uh, is that his name, Dizzy Devil? Yeah, yeah, Dizzy, like Dizzy Blood or, or Tor Loco. I, I like that structure a lot better than when it comes with Bitcoin or Bape Blood. And, and, you know, not to hate on Bitcoin or Bape or nothing like that. I, I love that blood, man. I really do. I, I love all those bloods. Um, but you have to find what, what blood or what structure that you like the most, right? What you like the most. Um, even for my Frenchies as well. Um, the things that, that come into mind when it comes to me, like say, for example, like I have uh, Vegeta's brother, which was Roach. Right, Vegeta's brother was Roach, and he was more on the fat side. He wasn't as cut up and chiseled up like Vegeta, uh, you know himself. You know, and and, and Roach when uh, when I had him a year ago because he passed away from a heat stroke. Um, he was more on the fat side. You know, he had the structure, big bone, but he was more on the fat side. You know, more more thick coat, more thick skin, and uh, he wasn't cut up. And you know, when I finally realized, like, oh shit, you know, when I got Vegeta. Vegeta was was more like was more cut up was more chiseled up you know the the structure that I really like and it was crazy I I never really knew that structure that Frenchies can even have the structure as well but now that I'm you know more experienced on whose bloodlines are who and what bloodlines come from what you know like say for example like what I believe in structure is like as I said chiseled up cut up those dogs that come into mind for me is you know Ming Vu's UG. Ooh, that bitch is like cut up to the bone, bro. Literally, that's one of the best shredded Frenchies I've ever seen, and it's crazy. We, like, I wouldn't like I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't judge you guys for saying that we we mix our Frenchies with bullies. It's it's insane. Like, even I would think like, oh shit, he's mixing with bullies, but no, 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 no. Bullies are mixed with us to get their structure as well. So it's just how you select the breed to to get that type of structure. You know what I'm saying? Cut up, chiseled. Big bone, lean, muscular, you know, the structure that I like. No fat dogs. I don't, you know, I, I like it, but I don't like it 100%. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy when I saw UG or, or Edwin uh, or Mystique or Dog Pound Bullies by Dog Pound Bullies. Edwin, uh, Mystique. Woo! I can say now that is a micro, you know, and let's talk about sizes now. Let's talk about sizes. Um, sizes, like with me, this is why I never claim micro because if I claim micro, then uh, it's very disrespectful to the people who actually have micro. It's very dis disrespectful to to Edwin who really has micro, or to to DK, you know, i.e. Uh, bullies Ramon. You know, it's very disrespectful to them, right? Because you know, even even Adele, my my little girl, my Vegeta daughter right here, I don't claim micro because I don't really know what she's gonna be. She might be like 17, 16 pounds. Um, but we'll see, you know, I don't claim micro yet because I don't know when, how small she's going to be really. Um, cause, cause I know in my bloodline, you know, with Vegeta, you know, with Vegeta, he is, you know, he's like a medium sized dog to me, right? 
Vegeta is a medium to large size dog and he's only 25, 26 pounds, right? 25, 26 pounds. And I believe that's like a medium to large size type of dog already. So it, that should tell you already that, that, you know, what, what do I think it's small? You know, small is probably like eight, seven inches below and the dog weighs like 16 pounds and below. So I don't know, you know, um, there's a lot of micro dogs out there, right? You know, Yeti, for example, Brain, uh, with Arctic Frenchies, for example, in Florida. Um, now, that, that stuff is micro. Um, but the structure that I really love the most is most likely when it comes to having micro is probably Mystique with, uh, with Edwin, you know, Dog Pound Bully. She is the best that I've seen. And I haven't seen her in person, but just looking at videos, hearing from what Mango Tony says. Mango Tony, you know, just even when we were at the show in, in Georgia... He, my uncle Tony said that Mystique, she is like a micro, a true, true micro with, with structure as well. Um, you know, not fat, very muscular, very ripped, very shredded uh, dog that he's seen and very small. And, um, you know, that is my vision. That is my vision. That That's actually what I really want. So I don't know. Might do business with Edwin, but we'll see. You know, we will see. We have different tastes and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll have to see if I want to implement that blood, that XB blood within my program, right? So it's I think it's watched that XB, but still, you know, like selective breeding. That's what it is. You know, I I can I can have it too, but I don't know. We will see. You know, bullies and Frenchies. I, I kind of like the same. I think because like the reason why I look at that structure is because I think I've always grown up with looking at bullies that way, like the American bully, very shredded, very muscular, um, not really, you know, fat or you know fatty like a like a like an english bulldog no um you know so that's why like i don't i don't judge you guys for you know saying that my dogs are mixed with bullies because um they are more you know they're not your ordinary frenchies they're they're not your average french average frenchies they look a lot different they look a lot different from other frenchies as well and um you know i love it i love it <laughs> it tells me that you know, I'm doing something right. So, you know, I love structured Frenchies uh, my way. And um, if you guys are wondering why I don't go to other bloodlines, it's because I like Vegeta my way the best. I, I like him the best. You know, I dick ride my own blood. And I believe that should be you. You should dick ride your own, your own, your own cam. Dick ride your own blood. Because that is how hype creates. And, you know, it has to be backed up as well, obviously. You can't just dick ride or hype up your stuff when it's not really the best of stuff i don't claim to be the best obviously um i don't claim to be micro i don't claim to be micro like other people i'm not gonna say any names uh, i don't claim to have 15 pound dogs when they're not 15 pounds because i know what 15 pound dogs look like um as i said it's very disrespectful to the people who really do have micro um but yeah that, that's what i believe what structure is um you know size you know height wise all that stuff plays a role when it comes with classifying or categorizing your dog and when it comes with nano micro medium large excel i don't know man all those classes man but i tell you guys man i'm very very transparent and whoo look at that damn spread boy fuck hell he's crazy man i tell you guys man freestyle for days he need uh he need to open up his feet some more <laughs> <laughs> but man see like that's all raw right there baby that's all raw let me talk to you guys a little bit about this if nobody shows you raw videos of your dogs of, of their dogs they're most likely photoshopping because everybody that i've seen on social media not everybody but most of the time i always ask like if the, if the dog looks too good to be true i always ask for videos facetime me but they never do it they never do it so i'm just saying okay most likely they're photoshop and they're full of shit right you know you guys can facetime me you guys see them my my videos literally that hey man that shit's real you know and um even though i don't claim to be the best um i know you guys like my stuff a lot um and i appreciate the love and support but let me tell you this guys i don't have the best stuff i don't have the best stuff because the thing is there will never be the best stuff ever you know there will never be the best stuff there will always be something better, bigger. There's always a bigger fish. There's always something to improve on. And to tell you guys, in my program, I want another Vegeta, but I want them smaller. I want them shorter. I want them freakier. 
And that's pretty much it. Not to say that Vegeta's not freaky, um, no, like, but I, there's something always better, you know? And I want it just like him. I want a replica, but I want it smaller. That is my vision. That is my goal. And if I need another bloodline to achieve that result, then most likely I will have to do that. If I have to inbreed, then I will probably have to do that. You know, I learned from, you know, the OGs. I learned from my Uncle Tony's because they are big in the Frenchie game. Um, I learned from my, my, my Hmong brothers and, and the bully game and how they do it. So I just, it, it just, everything takes time and I just have to learn from them and how they do it and, you know, not learn the hard way. You know, if I have to inbreed, I have to inbreed. And I'm very transparent. I'm very honest. If I tell you guys I'm inbreeding, I'm in, inbreeding. And if you guys say it's bad business or oh, it creates messed up dogs, then, oh, so well, so be it. But I'm going to tell you guys this, you know, oh, my Uncle Tony and they inbreed all the time. But their dogs come out clean. Their dogs don't come out blind. They don't come out deaf. They always come out clean. You know, looking good, baby. So that's how I look at structure. Very different from everybody else. But um, you know, you guys, you guys can take this from a grain of salt. You know, we all look at structure very different. Very different. I like my bulls very muscular, shredded, physique. That's how I love it. You know, no, I don't really like them fat dogs like that. I like it 90%. As long as you got structure, as long as the dog's short. Hey, that's all I care about. I don't really care about the pounds wise that much, but I really do want a really small micro dog. But it might take a couple years from now before I can do that. It might take a couple years before I can actually get another Vegeta, but very small and compact. You know, and I might have to, I might need another female that's very micro, very small. Her bloodline is going to be very small. And if I have to do that, I have to do that. And that's the only way for me to, to achieve that look for Vegeta but in a smaller compact version. So we will see, you know, we will see. So I'm very, that that's what makes breeding so exciting. You know, just breeders, as us breeders, we, we always want to do better, to achieve better. And that's, I think that's pretty much what breeding should be. You know, not to just breed dogs and just sell. No, I think it's it's breeding for me. It's it's breeding dogs to be better, to to have a better dog. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So, you know, you, you guys might look at things differently, but that's what I believe in. You know, those are my values of what I look at, uh, what I believe in. And, um, you know, just take it for a grain of salt. We all look at things differently. And trust me, man, if we all like the same stuff, everything in this world would be boring and nothing would be unique anymore. So that's what I love about this breeding stuff and just business, you know, as usual. You know, we, we're not meant to like the same thing. And I believe, like, it's good for all of us to like different things anyway because um as i said it makes things unique and um it, it creates you know optimism you know positivity when you realize that literally um when you know that everybody has their own taste and style and not everybody's gonna like your style that's when doors open for you and opens up your mind to positivity because um you know, when you believe that your stuff is the best style or nobody don't know what the real stuff is or they don't know. What, I don't know. It's very hard to explain that if I was, for example, if I was to say, like, oh, he doesn't know what structure is. Um, that's just very negative. You know, just just know that everybody likes things different. You know, my structure from what I believe in is very different from other people's structure. They might they might not even look at structure. They might just look at colors, just just colors alone and that's completely okay right that's completely okay and uh it's fine to do that it's fine if you guys just have more of the standard frenchies and that's completely okay you know that's that's what i really wanted to talk about um everybody looks at structure different and you know if you guys like more of the standard frenchies hey it's completely okay some people don't like my french bulldogs um and that's completely okay i respect that and uh i you know i respect you even more for liking your own style than my style Really, that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to like your own style more than my style anyway. And, um, you know, that's what makes me respect you more as a breeder because you like your stuff better. And, um, you know, as long as, you, hey, what matters most is as long as you're making sales and, you know, you're doing good on your own. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the content and pretty much, hopefully, I can encourage you and uh, persuade you that, hey, everybody likes different things and, you know, just... Do what you got to do and stay in your own lane, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go.